Hello friends, thank you for joining me. Welcome to another pore painting video on ANSYS artistry. Today I'm working on a canvas size 10 by 20 inches and I'm going to do a simple Dutch pour. I'm going to use white as my base and for layering I have blue, violet, turquoise and shades of magenta. Um, it's a unique color, maybe Christmas combination. I do have a Christmas decoration that has these, these colors in them. So I thought, why not try a Dutch pour? So into this mixture, I'm going to add a little bit of copper for a little bit of bling bling. All my paints have been thinned down using Floetrol and water. I use the ratio one part paint to two part Floetrol and a little bit of water. I adjust the amount of water to get similar consistency on all these paints. Um, I'll read out the exact name of the color and the brand as I go. Uh, the white that I'm using is a mixture of Artist Loft Soft Body Acrylic White and Blick Relix Titanium White, both thinned down, all right? All of them have same consistency. So uh, today's video is going to be a simple Dutch pour. I have a just a teeny bit of alteration to the regular, uh, you know, the composition. Um, let's see how it goes. So I'll put down my base paint and then we'll be right back. All right, I got the base paint down. Um, I see that it's not smooth. I see like tiny particles in there like this one, but it's too many of them. And I'm just going to leave it for now. I know when it dries, it's going to give that, you know, rough finish, but Let's go ahead and continue with today's painting. I might have to strain the white paint for my next painting. All right, popping these air bubbles now. All righty, let's go ahead and layer the paints. So I'm starting with Ultramarine Blue by Artist Loft. Okay, I'm guessing pretty even. One more layer of it. All right, next color is Deep Violet by Liquitex. And then Turquoise Green by Amsterdam. Next I have Quinacridone Magenta by Liquitex. Now I'm going to repeat those colors but just a little bit of difference in the shades. So next is I'm going to be using a blue, but it's Thalo Cyanine Blue by Liquitex. Then I have Dioxazine Purple. And now I'm going to add a little bit of copper. And then for the turquoise shade, I have Bright Aqua Green by Liquitex. And on top, I'm going to put Quinacridone Rose by Amsterdam. Okay, let's put a little bit of the white on the sides. This is the same as the base. All right, I'm going to change my technique a little bit today. Let's see how the painting is going to turn out. First, popping these air bubbles. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to squeeze this paint a little bit. Okay, onto the hair dryer. I'm going to be using my flower hair dryer, just the travel size so it's smaller and works better for smaller canvases. Okay, let's go ahead. Hey, that was neat. I would call it neat. Yes, I love this composition. I didn't want to go zigzag. This side is on top and this one is on the bottom. So that's how I layered my paints and that's how I tried to blow it out and it ended up looking great. I just need to blow over here and you know, make those paint go over on the sides. It's kind of like stopped right there. I don't think I want to do anything. I'm not a fan of that um, aqua green and the quinoctodone rose together. Maybe some places it looks good, some places it just, you know, uh, darkens. It could be because of the dioxazine purple that I added, but hey, I you gotta try different combinations, right? Otherwise all your paintings will look very similar. So here's for trying different color combination, a little bit of change in the composition. That's what makes every painting interesting, at least in my case. Well, Everything looks perfect now. I don't think I need to fix or work on anything anymore. I'm going to fix all my edges and I will bring you right back. All right, so here is the closer. Pretty neat, simple Dutch pour. Just a little bit of change in the composition and a whole lot of change in the color choice. I love the outcome. Look how neatly it has blended, right? neatly blown out i don't know what happened to the copper though i put very little of it so um it might have just gone underneath uh, when it dries we'll see which one dries darker which one dries brighter i've scraped the edges so the drips wouldn't change my composition i just love how it looks today when it's wet and i just hope that it just dries without a whole lot of change. I love this painting and I hope you liked the video as well. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button and please consider subscribing to support my art channel. Thank you for being here and I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Bye. Happy pouring.